So recently, we've all had to start doing this new thing that I never thought I'd have to do, which is wear a mask. So whether we're going to Costco or the grocery store, or maybe we're getting our hair cut, or maybe we're going to the doctor, we have to wear a mask. And now that things are opening up, uh, the more we're around people, the more that we start wearing masks. And it's been kind of unique for me because I've just been sitting back and thinking. I'm like, I wonder what people are thinking my facial expression is. You know, if I'm happy or if I'm sad, I'm like, I wonder if they're thinking about this or if they even recognize me, you know, because just when you got your mask on, you kind of are hiding. You can't really see who that person is. So I'm always like, I wonder if they recognize me. But also, too, I was thinking about how I can really hide behind my mask. So I could maybe chew gum or it's kind of hard to talk to. So you're kind of more quiet or maybe how you think about not brushing your teeth. And so I kind of thought, wow, you could maybe go a day without brushing your teeth. Just have really bad breath. And I was like, that's kind of funny that you could get away with that now because in past, you would never be able to get away with that. But it just got me thinking about how we tend to hide behind masks and how we choose to hide the worst part of ourselves behind our masks. And when it comes to our spiritual lives, we tend to hide the sin, the brokenness behind our masks. And we only show the best of ourselves. So the problem with this is the Bible calls us to confession. It calls us to enter the table of communion and confess our sin. And that sin is deadly. That sin will leave us broken and worse off than before. And Jesus tells us in Mark 9, 43, beginning, he says this, If your hand causes you stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell, where the fire never goes out. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is never quenched. Jesus says here, it'd be better for you to cut off your hand. It'd be better to cut off your foot. It'd be better for you to gouge out your eye than to be sinning, than to be stumbling, because that'll be your demise. So sin leads to death leads to destruction, and ultimately leads to a place without God. And so we must be real. We must confess our sins to the community and to God himself. And so today, as we enter this time of communion with the bread and with the juice, as we partake together, we must be real and vulnerable about the sin in our lives. And we must repent truly, turning away from our sin, turning away from that which we have kept hidden behind our mask. And so today, I want you to take the cup. I want to take the bread and partake and reflect on the sin and how you are going to truly repent and walk in the light. So let me pray and then we'll take communion together. Lord, I pray that as we come to your table, reflecting on the sacrifice and the love of Jesus Christ on the cross, that we would look inward to the sins and the things that we're hiding within the mask that we have on we take off god that we would be vulnerable and real with you and that we would choose to walk in the light that we would repent and turn away god i pray for this time of communion in your name we pray amen